All right, guys, give me one second before we start this case. Uh, we just finished a previous case of the Abbey Grange affair, um, so check that out if you want to know who the killer was. Um, this one's called the Kew Gardens drama. Kew Gardens. Um, I've been there before, I'm sure I have, when I was younger. Um, it's not a kid's place, but I don't know. I think it's just a big garden place, whatever. But I've been there, I've been through there, possibly bike riding, uh, as a, as, when I was about 13, 14, I don't know. Um, with my dad possibly um, got quite a nice few things around there it's quite, I think it's a posh place, I'm not too sure again, I haven't been there in a while so interesting, I, again I like the fact they're using London landmarks and stuff like that it'd be interesting to get a modern day Sherlock Holmes wouldn't it, like um, like London, oh look there's a crime at the London Eye that'd be kind of cool, you know and stuff like that that'd be kind of interesting um, but again before I start, so I'm just going to have a, a drink and then uh, we'll be on our way So basically, we've got two cases left, this one and one more. This is the start, so I haven't seen the intro into this one yet, so. Holmes, for heaven's sake, whatever's going on? No clue. Hello, Watson. You're early. Did you kill all of your patients? What? Holmes, where have all these wretched bees come from? I increased the temperature of the room so as to prevent them from hibernating. I needed to take a sample of honey. But it worked, Watson. We will have honey all year round. Ridiculous and dangerous. They are domestic bees. Apis mellifera. Such industrious workers. Anyway, Watson, I am sorry, but I must leave you. I'm in rather a hurry. You have a new case? Yes. But nothing as thrilling as this experiment, a theft of plants at the Royal Botanic Gardens in Kew. I'm helping a minister who's nine. You can join me if you like. Well, I'll admit that I'd far rather accompany you than remain alone here with these workers of yours. Besides, you'll need a helping hand with the flowers you're intending to bring back. Watson, however did you guess? For the great Sherlock Holmes to bother with the theft of plants. Come on, admit that you're planning to spoil your little bees with some rare pollens. <laughs> Since when did I become so transparent? Let us go. First and foremost, no, no way in hell am I having bees. I don't even like being like one bee, you know what I mean, around me, let alone a whole swarm of them or all of them into my home. You're insane. If I was Watson, I'd be out of here, but I'm not working with you until you remove all these bees. I'm out, I'm not coming in there. You can meet me at the local cafe or whatever, but I am not coming here to hell with that. All right, so we're helping a minister out with a, with a, with his plants. What, being stolen? Um, hmm. Okay, so this woman here, who's that? That's Lady Bracken's door. Okay, married, yeah, blah, blah. Um. So she ain't bad. She's lucky, actually, in that case. She's going to get away with a load of bloody money. Uh, find the stolen plants from the last exhibition at Kew Gardens. This seems so unreal. Like, what bizarre case. An unusual theft has taken place at the uh, Royal Botanic Gardens Kew. Holmes investigation reveal a somber trail of deceit. Oh, God. Alright. <clears throat> seems like a very unusual case. To Kew Gardens! <clears throat> I didn't select it. To Kew Gardens! <sighs> I hate plants. I'm a hay, suffer uh, hay fever sufferer. So, yes, I'm not thrilled about this. I would not have taken this case on for that very presence. And I'm not a fan of bees. Bees, so to hell with all bugs. Well, Holmes, here we are at the Royal Botanic Gardens. There's no doubt that this place is beautiful, but are you really intent on investigating the theft of the plants? Yes, of course. Is it a Sunday? Must be boring as hell. And I believe it does still look like this, actually. Don't touch anything else, is that clear? Just go and get a bucket of fertilizer. And without turning it over this time. 
Good day to you, gentlemen. How may I help you? If you are here for a visit, please do come back on Sunday. I am afraid that it cannot wait. My name is Sherlock Holmes, and this is my friend and colleague, Dr. Watson. We are investigating the theft of plants that took place here five days ago. A remarkable collection, I believe. So you're the one in charge, eh? A small favor for a friend. Now to whom do I have the pleasure of speaking? I am Martin Hamish. I am the deputy director of Kew Gardens, and that fellow yonder is Albert. He works here. I am delighted to meet you. What can you tell us about the plants? They were rare and exceptional plants. We presented them at our last exhibition. We haven't removed the stand yet. It is still in the large glass house. We only learned of their disappearance the evening after the exhibition, and nobody saw anything. No doors were forced? No, but I would imagine that for a thief it would be fairly easy to gain entry, for there are no guards here. Well, if you don't mind, we will take a look. Now, you say that it is in the large glass house. Yes, the one just behind me. Just a second, since Albert has nothing else to do. Albert, show these gentlemen where the exhibition was held. How many people work here? Only myself, but occasionally two students, Albert, you have met, and Miss White. Hmm. Here it is. This is the place where the stolen plants were exhibited. Thank you. Is there something the matter? Yes, there is. All right, the plants were valuable and rare, but it seems to me that the tragedy that took place here only two days ago has been entirely forgotten already. What tragedy are you referring to? My... the director of Kew Gardens, Mr. Montague Dunn. He died here just two days ago. We're very sorry. We were not aware. The two of you were good friends? He... father. Oh dear, our condolences. We should not be troubling you. Please do excuse us for the intrusion. You say that he died here, in the large glass house? Holmes? Yes, just here, near the door to the colonial collection. He suffered a heart attack, just like that. So, it was terrible. Excuse me, gentlemen, but I cannot remain here. If you need me, I'll be in the reserve. That's the room next to the front of the large greenhouse. Of course, we understand. Damn, his dad died there? Jesus, what? And we're not investigating that, we're investigating some missing plant. Are you kidding me? That is bizarre. Examine the place where Montauk Dunn met his death. <sighs> An unusual theft has taken place. Yeah, wait, hold on. What's the next thing? Oh, I wanted to see the thing about. Okay, there's nothing about it. It's just in the left hand column. That's unusual. Someone's dead, but we're, we're talking about bloody plants. Are you kidding me? That's his son. Okay, so exhibition booth. Warning. Do not touch. The plants were here. All of them were stolen. Two students, huh? Hmm. We well, can't really do much. He suffered a heart attack. This is where his father, Montague Dunn, was found dead. Concentrate your attention to finding details others have overlooked. Footprints, fragments. Soil. Dirt. It should have come from a flower pot. No doubt, no doubt. The soil on the side of this flower shelf is the same as that on the ground. Hmm. And then we have some... Get away, Watson, you fucking idiot. Watson's an idiot. Right. Large black tracks. Thin black tracks. The traces are thinner in some places. These boot marks are fresh. It appears as though someone was dragging their feet. The footprints reveal that someone staggered here. Hmm. 
Anything more over here? Could we follow a pattern? Oh, on the door. The Damaged door was panel. smashed at shoulder height. Hmm. The door handle is new. It was recently changed. So, why would they not tell us? There's so many things you're not telling us at this point. It's ridiculous. A, a, a man's death took place here two days ago. The door has been smashed open. You know what I mean? And that guy said there was no sign of forced entry. But it seems somewhat significant. You would even mention, hey, listen, these plants have been stopped. Appreciate you're investigating it. At the same time, a man died in that room uh, two days ago or whatever. And the door got smashed and the door had to be replaced. Or part of it. Like, come on. The Esconson was breached near the handle. The door was forced from the inside of the Colonial Collection Room. The handle was changed afterwards. I think we need to inspect the Colonial Collection Room. Go in the Colonial Collection Room. Where was that, anyway? Wait, but it was done from the inside? No, because it, it burst open this side. Here we go, from this side. Very strange. Yeah. Half of the colonial collection is absent. The smell detergent. is strong. It is a detergent. So there was a mess here, and someone's trying to clean it up. Someone in this workplace is doing dodgy stuff. We're not even speak. They haven't told us about any of this stuff. These Window windows panels were perfectly cleaned. Hmm. What's that substance on them there? On the other side. God, a bit stinks in here. Well, that's all there is to it. There's nothing else around here. Oh, here we go. That's the chip. Here we go. Possibly after uh, off a pot. A fragment of marble, most likely chipped from a statue or sculpture. This broken fragment was the result of a heavy blow. Part of this greenhouse was emptied and thoroughly clean. Hmm. A lot going on they're not really talking about, in my opinion. According to this, they have light and moisture control in some parts of the building. Hmm. We've investigated everything over here though, right? That's done. We've examined that. I'm just saying because they gave us the R1 option again and I'm like, why? Not really seeing anything in particular. <laughs> okay, um, anything else over here? The door, we've seen the crack. Wait. There we go, the fragment. We didn't see the frag. Hold on. Already examined that. Soil. It should have come from a flower pot. I don't get it. The soil on the side of this flower shelf is the same as that on the ground. Anything more about it? Because they're not saying it's completed. I mean, this thing here, like the white bits, is what I'm trying to focus in on, but they're not letting me. See? They're not letting me examine in the fragments. There we go, fragments broken pot. There we go. It fell down here. Right, well that's that then, at this point. Again, they give me the R1 button to do. We're looking for a broken pot. We've picked up a bunch of fragments. Hold on. 
Broken pot here. Here we go. This is a this pot that pot fell. This pot was broken fairly recently. A flower pot recently fell down from these shelves and was misplaced. All right. Unusual. What should we do next, Holmes? Very, you know, you don't do anything, do you? Garbage. What about the body? Where was the body specifically, though? They said he had a heart attack here. So he had a heart attack. He f he dropped he, the pot. Hmm. All right. Well, there's nothing else to do here at this point. Oh, hold on. We missed this door. Or was just coming out of here. Move. I'm going to keep this on for a second. Right. Watson, you're in the way, mate. Go away. I help you, gentlemen. Yes. What is here? Hold on, before we speak to him. Go away, Watson, you useless prat. Right, let's examine him. So if he's a young kid that works here, gets moaned at a lot, wept recently, consumed by grief. Oh, this is the, the, the guy, in it? His father died, so no surprising. Shaving cup. His hands, saw his hands, clean hands. Right. Do you work here? Hmm. Uh, do you work here? Yes, but part-time only. For I'm also studying botany at the University of London. You're following in your father's footsteps, then that is commendable. Well, even if botany is not my strongest suit, there are people who say that I could be a good manager. Thank you, young man. We shall see you again soon. What? Excuse me, but I have to tidy up this room. We didn't really... Uh, Palm house. Palm house. Uh, that was a bit odd. I said one question, that was it. Let me check my files here. Examine the place where he was there. Find the stolen plot. Yes, what's this say? Marble fragments. Okay, picked up from the floor. Uh, the colonial collection room. Judging from the form of refinement, it's possible part of a statue. Yes, we need a statue or sculpture. So this, we need a statue or sculpture. Well, we know where he is, and there's only one way in and out. So well, let's just go back and let's possibly find a statue. What was that? According to this, they have light and moisture control in some parts of the building. Oh, I really can't know that. Water lily greenhouse. I'm just looking at everything at this point. Okay, so what in the? Oh no, we came here. That's right. Let's go back out. He didn't give us much of anything other than the fact that he worked there. These trees, with their roots in water, must originate from Louisiana. Ah, yes, the bayou. I remember our visit in the case of the Awakened. Here is a list of the stolen plants. Oh. Now I fucking missed that. They would have to... If they're going to be kept somewhere specifically, though, they would have to be maintained, or they would die. So somebody would have to keep them at a certain temperature, yes? Hmm. And 
a good point. We'll have the same kind of temperature control aspect. And that boy studies studies uh, his father's work kind of thing. So he would have a good knowledge of it. He's not just some kid working there part time. He actually understands what's going on with those plants. You know what I mean? Sorry if you feel like it's taking a bit slow. I think I'm making progress, but like, just slowly but surely. Dry tropics. Do you know what? Move, Watson, you prat. Watson's really irking me right now. He's in the way. I just want to check, Sank. Where we just look again, you're in the way. Water lily greenhouse. Now I've already read that, haven't I? Water lily greenhouse. So again, he said, What about this? Here is a list of the stolen plants. And that was it. Do not touch, that's all the thing said. Hmm. I was just trying to get a feel for where they were at, like their control temperatures, water lily, so I don't know, they don't really tell me anything. This is dry, whatever. Let me just make that go green, it's pissing me off. Go away, Watson. They have light and moisture control in some parts. Yes, 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 yes. Because I wondered if, like, if we can verify where another place would be where which would store the flowers specifically. There is a smell of burning. Why? What's burning? The remains picture of frame. a picture frame. Why? A door handle. Why would anyone throw such a thing in the fire? The door handle to the colonial collection and that of the fireplace are made of the same material. That's suspicious. Burned broom, that was used to sweep up the dirt. A broom handle was half burned. Somebody's Somebody working here is literally before our eyes destroying evidence. This is laughable. I'd nick everyone. And there's a gas mask. A protective mask. Why would you need a gas mask? Someone set it alight, but it did not burn. Okay. Some right dodgy stuff going on here, boy. Hmm. I think that's about it, but I don't know. Oh, no, this... I saw this, but... A broken pot, but we can't move it. There we are. Here we go. This is very bizarre. The symbol is not from Kew Gardens. I think that's about it. Right, so we have here search icon, a list of exotic stolen plants exhibited. Q Gardens, blah blah blah, operate, okay. Uh, right, so we can look at that. That's a fragment of the statue we're looking for. And then this part here is search archives of a symbol of broken pot of flower in the backyard. Symbol is not of Q Gardens. Yes, the, the glyph means divine, I am not mistaken. Is Does that mean it's a, a perhaps a rival company or a bunch of people that don't like the idea of them? Storing exotic plants from other countries, and they're like, 
I don't know. I'm, I'm thinking it's like a kind of protest group <laughs> at this point. But whatever. So we need to go back and check the archives, that's for sure. But again, hold on, hold on. They're saying we haven't completed this section. There's something more in here. There's something can miss here, hold on. If we go on this side. It's not even giving us any more. Okay, hold on, we've got to search a little bit more. What's this? Oh, a the piece of plant, here we go. Fairly recently. Some have not completely burned. There you go, now it's done. Fine. That was an interesting fire, I can assure you of that. Someone is literally burning evidence though in my eyes, right before our eyes. It's crazy. Move. God, you're such an idiot, man. Nursery? Palm House. Director's office, cloakroom, and laboratory. Mm -hmm. Nursery. Water Lily Greenhouse. I'm just going to go green, guys, so i registering everything, just in case another clue comes up. Ventilation system. Ah, we've got, there's a ventilation system, they did talk about that. So we're here, right? I think. Wait, is this a ventilation system? What is this? Now this would be interesting. A ventilation system. It should regulate the temperature of the staff buildings. A ventilation. Okay. So we might have to do something with this. At a later date or whatever. Interesting stuff. Move, man. Watson, I'm going to kill you. Seed house. Seed house. Locked. Locked. Bloody hell. Where's that guy go? So we've come out of here. Watson, man. You Look at this fucking idiot, man. Moron. I'm going to smash his face in. Born idiot. Locked. Right, locked on that side as well. Um, move. This place is massive. I know I've got to go to the archive section, I know that. He's the freak. Locked. You know, we can't... Oh, move! Locked. Right, so this place is where we get out, basically. I just want to see... Is there anywhere else I can go? Alright, that's him, isn't it? Yeah, it's the boy. Oh, I didn't know we can come out this way. Move! I want to smack him in his face. Um, there was one other section over here I didn't try or look at. What's this? Or is this just the same place, yeah. just with a different door? Nursery. We can't get in the nursery. But again, why can't... Um, I really want to use deal with that machine. We might have to deal with that at a later date. Let's talk to this guy one more time. We still haven't seen the girl who works here. talk to him anyway. Oh, we can analyse him. Plant freak. <laughs> Weird glasses. Um, inexpensive glasses. Okay. What the fuck 
is that? Dirty co Yeah, dirty clothes in general. Well, he used to working, I suppose. Unmarried. Oh, he's married, all right. Hold on, guys. I can say to his plants. Does that just happen with my recording a second ago? Give me one moment. don't know why but my recording screen just went off it flickered or something weird okay well I'll keep an eye on that as well what's this dirty hands gardener's hands that's what I was gonna say yeah hmm right Dunn's death door keys talk about the death though. told us about the tragic death of mr. Dunn the late director of Kew Gardens Tragic indeed. His heart attack was quite unexpected. Would you unlock the doors for us? Do you expect to find the stolen plants there? I am sorry, but those rooms are private. Thank you, Mr. Hamish. We shall continue our invest. You prat. Um, move. Oh, Watson. I hate Watson. I really wanted to fucking get hit by a car. We know we've got to search the archives. Um, where is... We haven't seen the chick yet. The girl. Yeah, this is who I want to meet. We haven't found her yet. I want to go back to the map place. But they won't let us in somebody's doors. For some reason. Like the nursery, for example. I wish we had a map. Like we've got to go back and look at that map place. Here we go. So, the nursery's there. Seed house we couldn't get into. Um, office house. Hmm. We know what we got to check the nursery, the seed house, and the office. Okay. Ventilation system we might have to muck around with. I suspect at this point that because they can control the temperature, something went on with the temperature system, the ventilation, pumps ain't through the system and like brought on the, the guy's heart attack or something. That's what I'm thinking at this point. Oh, really? There's a map there, really? I went back there to look at that. And garbage, man. <laughs> Yeah, he's being a right prat though about the uh, situation with the, um, what do you call it? Those keys. Oh, deductions. I didn't do the deductions part yet. That's literally it. That's all we got. Someone cleaned and emptied out only a part of the clone collection. This is suspicious. Perhaps it was intended to conceal evidence. Certain evidence. We didn't even get to talk about the, um... The fact that someone's starting a fire over there yet. What's that about? Oh, that guy's just a freak. Um, search. Oh, we've got a couple of things to search. Oh, come on. Right, search the simple broken pot. Examine. Well, let's go with the broken pot for now. I want to see what that's about. At, what is that? Is that a symbol for the broken pot? Symbol broken pot found in the backyard. A hieroglyphs divine. I am not mistaken. So it's a what? That's chemistry. We don't need that. Poisons and toxins. Wounds and injury. Uh, martial arts. Symbols. The divine, divine syndicate. Here we go. Uh, religious symbols. Skull crossbones. London. Garden supplies. That is not the one I need. All right. Well, the divine syndicate. The divine sologist syndicate for... Vegetation and veneration. The member of this syndicate worship Truan, the God King. They strive to obtain spiritual peace and release themselves from the material world. So generous donations are appreciated. Hmm. 
they want to release themselves from a material world. Are they perhaps suicidal? Is that what's going on here? Maybe he committed suicide because he was a member of it? Don't know. Here it is. The Divine Syndicate is not a supplier to Kew Gardens. Besides, there is no address here. Yes, the same is going on. Um, let's go to the plant of botany. Um, right. So, a list of plants. So that's chemistry. No. Uh, poisons and toxins. Hmm. Marks and symbols. Okay, so it's got to be poisons and toxins, right? Uh, okay, so the Akela uh, Florin. That is not the one I need. That is not the. That is not the one I need. That <laughs> Just is do not that. the one I need. Okay. Toxic metal in hair. Respiration that is technique. Not the one I need. That is not the one I need. That Shut is not up. the one I need. That is not the one I need. Right. And that the is not the one I no. need. Toxology, here we go. That is not the one I oh. need. Okay, I thought toxology okay. That's ballistics. But toxology, I thought, was like toxins in the plants, but okay. That is not the one I... You're annoying me, dude. That is not the one I need. That is not the one I need. I know that ain't going to be this bloody thing. It's got to be another part of it. Then newspapers. Oh, here we go. Here we go. That's, there we, this is what I needed, really. My bad. Economics, science, technology, history, medicine, botany. My bad. Here we go. We're looking for botany. Uh, plant hormones, medical herbs, exotic plants, volume, poisonous. I think they're poisonous, to be honest with you. Uh, these plants have a certain toxicity, common more or less variable. Uh, Dynia, blah, 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 all those names of what I've got. Only the first three can be dangerous to humans. Particularly for them, diabolical can only deliver under so under specific conditions can they be met. Uh, so, so there has to be a certain condition, and obviously someone's messed with the uh, the temperature. So if someone's wanted to kill him, the plant should react to the process of aggression against which it will issue a deadly spores. And there you go, it yeah, protects it itself. I told you someone was messing with that. Sorry it took so long to get there because I haven't searched over this area of botany and everything else. Uh, letters and then that's basically about it. That's all we needed to do. Um, we look here. So, the God King Divine Syndicate Idol. Can we, we sh I'm surprised they ain't given us a thing to look at. Like we can check out, I know we've already looked at the symbol. Right, let's have a look at this anyway. The following three plants were proven lethal to our humans. Those... Realization of a toxic process is fairly difficult for requires a particular chemical fertilizer, natural stimulation, uh, nutrition, and the caterpillars should work. Caterpillars? Hmm. I suppose we go back to Kew Gardens. All there is to do. This one ain't bad at this point. I'm liking it. They don't go together, but we found more clues. Fair enough. Let's back out. I'm still eager to speak to that uh, the girl who we haven't spoken to yet. Watson, you're annoying. Go away. The Divine Syndicate. You look like you're a part of them, you freak. Are you aware of... The Divine Syndicate. The Divine what? Is this a joke? No, I am quite serious. What a ridiculous name. Anyway, I have never heard of this syndicate. 
Thank you, Mr. Hamish. We shall continue our investigation. Wonder if the sun's a part of it. You still ain't done the shelf, mate. It's been like ten hours. <laughs> Tell me, have you ever heard of the Divine Syndicate? No, I cannot say that I have. Thank you, young man. We shall see you again soon. Well, that's brilliant. Yes, I absolutely love this investigation. It's got something to do with that move, Dick. Oh, my God. The, um... I want to see, speak to the girl, but obviously we can't. And they're not going to let us in here. Because he's a prat. I like we're missing something, but... What's this? Oh, I thought it was all there, shiny. We definitely need sank. Wait, wait, what was this? Then? Locked. Right, that's locked. Fine. Move. What's in it? He does nothing. He legit does nothing. Can't do anything with this. A ventilation system. It should regulate the temperature of the staff buildings. Oh, here we go. A water, water tank. Ah. Oh. Give us, oh, well, I can't even go there. You just look at it. What, I don't know what else to do now at this point. Find the stolen plants for the exhibition queue. Items. Examine the place where Mordred done met his death. So we didn't examine it properly. That's what they're crying about. That's what I've probably missed. Right, so let's go back. Whoop. They said he died here. Watson, don't get in my way. Examine that. What more do I want? The door was smashed at shoulder height. Everything on it's got green, like we've checked out everything, including the plant pot. This has even got green. This has got green, like we've done it, we've done that. We can't get in here. I don't believe we can. The sound we haven't done and they're bitching about it. Blood. Oh, blood. Why would... Hmm. This sign is broken. Something heavy was dropped upon it. Someone fell violently against this sign and they were injured in the clash. Most likely a head wound. All the clues around here are quite suspicious. I need my imagination there we go. to make sense of it all. Examine the flower. Okay, done that. Oh god, so he came in, had a heart attack, hit his head. Right. Oh, I see. You got to activate it. No. Oh, for God's sake. So this is oh, one. No. 
one. Uh, this is one. This is a joke. I've got to try and get round here. You're a fool. One. Two. Three. Here we go. What sequence? Here we go. This reconstruction reveals a disturbing fact. Montague Dunn damaged the door of the colonial collection room. He was in a panic, or the door was locked. Was it an accident, or a murder then, I wonder? Hmm. Dunn was trapped. Oh, we got a first piece. Perform an autopsy. I, we haven't even seen the body yet. That's what we didn't do. Well, we, didn't, we thought it was about stolen plants. We hadn't even checked his body. We didn't. I forgot about that. Perform an autopsy at the morgue. Done. I was deaf and suspicious. He had been full store. Colonial collection room. Why had someone uh, cleaned and emptied the room? Was it a trap or a simple accident? Somebody has had an effect on him to cause that to happen regarding his health. And uh, when he's dead... They've cleaned up the mess and just made it look like burned everything that was a bit dodgy, I feel. So that's what we've got to do. Perform a autopsy. Good. Good job. Let's get the hell out of here. I hate being in this plant place. Messes with my hay fever. I don't, so I'm just, you know, like... I'm projecting at this point, but I just could imagine it. Oof. Oh, look at the pretty flowers. Look how beautiful they are. Yeah, they get, they're causing hell right now. Get out of here. <clears throat> Neither of these guys, by the way, acknowledged the um, the divine, whatever, this group. They seem to not know about it. This guy over here seems like he's got an awful lot of time to, you know, love and care for his beloved plants. <clears throat> so, you know. Okay, so let's go to Scotland Yard. There we are. <clears throat> Imagine bursting on the inspector. Inspector Lestrade, we hear about plants. What? I wonder what his I body's going to tell us. Lestrade to take Montague Dunn's body to Scotland Yard. It's ready for autopsy then. Right, here we go. Wait, this is... It's what he had on him. Here we go. Now. Ooh, very nice watch. This watch is of great value. Yeah, it looks bloody beautiful, don't it? God damn. Well, he, uh... Well, now it was stolen from him. Club card. A club for what? A membership card for the London Crest Club. London Crest? Never heard of it. A beautiful pen. feather pen of a good make. Okay, and a letter. To Mr. F. Wayne, director of Wayne and Sons Printing Company. My friend, your posters for the great exhibition of Kew Gardens are very beautiful, but it is surely unnecessary to mention all of the staff. My name alone will be sufficient. Hmm. So he didn't want all the people's names of the staff. Eh, uh, I kind of get him, but it's like, whatever. Okay, that's information around the plants. Okay. What's this? The reconstruction montage of uh, Death Sturbing Fact, yes. Consumed by panic, yes, we know that. Sorry, I didn't check this out earlier, so. Find the stolen, but yes, perform autopsy. Right, the next part is the autopsy. So it ain't really of any significant other than a club thing there. And the ink was stolen, so it weren't a robbery like that or anything, so. That watch is damn beautiful. Oh god. Why is it covered up as such? Is it that brutal? First of all, 
Let us carry out oh my god. Oh. Left arm. Nothing Skin. suspicious here. Right arm. No redness, stings, or bruises. There are no suspicious chest. marks upon the chest. Let us finish our external examination so that we can proceed with the autopsy. Well, obviously the head is where he got hit or fell. Ah, oh, look at that bruise. Hold on. The air from the lungs carries a faint floral aroma. Hmm. It's what he inhaled. The vessels and the pupil of the eye appear quite normal. Sometimes if you inhale something specifically or a toxin, like they can become dilated or whatever it is, so who knows? There is an injury to the skull, most probably caused by the fall in the water lily greenhouse. Yes indeed. Now, let us examine the internal organs. Oh, how are we doing that, dude? I don't remember doing this. Oh. That's disgusting. The liver is enlarged. It would seem that he was suffering from an alcohol addiction. I was going to say that. Alcohol. He was an alcoholic. The liver tissue is brown. There are no visible pathological signs. So, like, he didn't get hit. Okay, that's the liver done. Fine. Ugh. Lungs? Oh my god. Lungs are congested and edematous. Ah, what's this? Damaged area. The tissue on the inferior lobe of the right lung is damaged, most probably caused by toxins from an unknown plant. That's gross, man. The heart, and then we've got the intestines or stomach. So let's check out the heart. The heart's blood vessels show no pathological signs. So he didn't have a heart attack then, it was more... Or, I, or maybe he did, but it, I thought it would explode. I don't know if that's the case when it's a heart attack, you know what I mean? I'm a bit... I'm not that knowledgeable, but whatever. There's nothing about it, really. The heart tissue shows no visible pathological signs. Alright, is that done. All right, so what? So the only thing we've seen thus far is sank on the lung, stomach. Ugh. The stomach tissues show no visible pathological signs. I don't expect to see anything on the stomach, really. There is a small amount of content. It appears oh. that he breakfasted lightly, only a short while before his death. My suspicions have been substantiated. Montague Dunn, the director of Kew Gardens, died from poisoning. Plant poisoning, to be more exact. You mean... Yes, it is murder. We should inform Lestrade. Yes, but do remember, Watson, that I discovered the murder. The challenge is mine. The challenge, Holmes? We need to locate that deadly plant. Such a perfect murder appeals to me. Murder of any kind appeals to you. Is that all we need to do? No. We also have the people working at Kew Gardens. Martin Hamish and the son of the victim, Albert Dunn. And also Miss White, of whom we spoke with Mr. Hamish. Should we bring them all here for interrogation? No. A few innocuous questions at Q will suffice, as well as a discreet delve into their personal affairs. Yes, Watson, it is time now to open the doors. Even those in the staff building? I suppose that is necessary. We should also be concerned with the victim himself. After all, we don't know very much about Montague Dunn. You're enjoying this already, aren't you? <laughs> More than a little. It's because somebody, he's discovered a murder, but he's also like, 
This was a good murder. This is very interesting. So now it's a challenge towards me and my abilities. Where it's just generic beforehand and I'm doing a job. I'm now being tested. That's the challenge he likes. What a sick bastard. <laughs> Alright, let's check this out. So he was poisoned. I said it was a poisoning, possibly. Deadly plant stolen. Let's put this together. Uh, theft and murder. The ki killer may be those who stole the exotic plants, including deadly species from the exhibition at Kew Gardens. Yes, yeah, so that's the only thing we've got there, really? Uh, and then... Dunn was trapped. Oh, hold on. Oh, you can put it with multiple? Okay. Dunn was poisoned after being trapped to collection. Yes, he was affected inhaling. That's another thing, aspect of it as well. And I want to check out the, the actual pumping system as well, if we can. Whatever. Okay. So we've done both of those anyway at this point. Very interesting uh, stuff going on at this point in time. Guys, I'm going to check the timing of this video. I'm really enjoying this case as well. The last two, this case and the one before that has been pretty good. I've been enjoying it thus far. All right, guys, give me one second to check the timing because I'm not too sure how long I've been on this video. When hour in, I feel like we're going to come to some kind of conclusion in the next hour anyway at this point, or 56 minutes. Uh, in the next step, we're going to be going back to Kew Gardens and questioning them and, um, yeah, putting the pieces together. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please like, share, comment and subscribe. I'll see you in the next one. Thanks so much for watching.